Okay, we're going to get started with our first Photoshop tutorial. I'm going to load the program and I'm going to go File, New. And if it doesn't say 10 inches by 8 inches at 300 pixels per inch, you need to go in and change that. 8 by 10 or 10 by 8 is the default size that we're going to be using for all of our work because that is the size of paper when we go to actually print our work. And so once you have that as you'd like, so I'm actually going to make this vertical and save it, OK. I then got my composition. So the first tool we're going to use is the text tool and if I click and hold the text tool you can actually see that there's a few different options like Illustrator and I'm going to use the horizontal type tool first. I'm going to click to engage the tool and I am going to write Mrs. Bartlett. Now if I can't see it it's probably because of the color so I'm actually just going to highlight it and change the color up here. And I'm also going to change the font style, just something simple. And I'm also going to change the size. And if I get the move tool, I can then move it around. What I want you to note is that over here in our layers palette on the far right hand side, you can see that the text layer is now labeled with my type. I'm going to go and make a new layer by clicking on the bottom. Uh, tab here and if I hover over it it says create new layer, kind of looks like a little post-it note. I'm going to click that. I'm going to get the text tool again and this time I'm going to write media art and this time when I highlight it I want to change the color to something different so blue's good and I want to change the style again to something different and the size to something different and what I want to show you is how to order things and layer things. So right now that media art layer over on our layers is on top of the Mrs. Bartlett but if I just drag and drop these I can reorient them so that the Mrs. Bartlett is now on top and as they are 100% opaque um, they appear to block each other. I could go to the Mrs. Bartlett layer and up in the opacity tab bring this down so that it is somewhat transparent. Okay. When I'm done this, oh, I have one more, vertical type, sorry, vertical type. When you type vertically, it types it vertically. And again, I can go in and change the color and change the style and change the color. Do all that. Okay, so I'm done. When I want to save my work, it's most important that you do a save as. I'm going to save it twice. I'm going to create a new folder on my desktop um, and it's going to be called Photoshop Tutorials. And in this, this is going to be Tutorial 1 type. And I'm going to save it as a PSD. And you'll remember from our note that the PSD is the document that I mark and that is already saved. I'm going to go file and save as again and this time I'm going to change the format tab to JPEG and you remember that we keep JPEGs because they are the format that I actually go and I uh, print our work. So crank that to 12 and then you've got both and then once you're done that you can close your window and you're done.